This method can help answer key research questions in psycholinguistics regarding the mental processes implicated in language comprehension. The advantage of this technique is that it provides a visual attention index with high temporal resolution geared to examine the relationship between the visual world and language processing. Individuals new to this method may struggle because the protocol must be executed with a high degree of precision. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the proper implementation of the method often requires ad hoc troubleshooting. To determine the ocular dominance, ask the participant to stretch out one arm and to align the thumb with a distant object with both eyes open. Have the participant alternate closing each eye. The dominant eye is the eye for which the thumb remains aligned with the object when that eye is open. Then ask the participant to sit at the table with the chin on the chin rest and the forehead against the headrest. Next, click Image to display PC. One large and two smaller images of the participant's eyes should appear. Use the keyboard arrow keys to select one of the smaller dominant eye images and press A to center the search limits box on the pupil position. A red square should appear around the eye with a turquoise circle near the bottom of the pupil. The pupil itself should be blue. Confirm the presence of two crosshairs on the screen, one in the center of the pupil and one in the center of the corneal reflection. Adjusting the size of the corneal reflection is crucial. It's the basis for a good calibration of the eye tracker. Manually turn the focus lens to adjust the camera.